I want to show you how the ICM 870-32A model works. It's a little bit different than the 16A. It does um, bigger AC units, like three and a half ton on up. And it depends on your running load amps, but if your running load amps is like between 15 and 32, this is the model for you. But I want to let you know about the, um, it's got a startup delay when the air conditioner is called to start it'll go into a fault the fault LED will light up and it will wait four minutes before the compressor starts but in the meantime your fan right here will be running for four minutes that's how they design this it's just a safety to um, protect the compressor but if you don't like your fan running for four minutes you can add a, a on a on delay timer, uh, set it for four minutes that, or you can set it for three minutes or three and a half minutes, however you would like it. That way they both start up about the same time. Um, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and show you the startup how it works. Okay, now we're going to see what the ICM 870-32A does with my Amana three ton um, AC unit. And this is with utility power. So we got the amp clamp set on maximum. Let's see what the maximum inrush is. So uh, 37 amps using the 32A model on my 3-ton Amana. So the fan kicked on and it, it pulled uh, 4 amps. And we're running at 4 amps and you can see the LEDs blinking. When you look that up, it'll blink. This is standard. It'll blink for 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, the compressor will kick on. You can just live with it or you can add an on delay timer and set it for three to four minutes. I'll go ahead and show you the startup amps uh, after four minutes. So we're just waiting for the four minute timer. As you can see the fans running and we're waiting for the compressor to kick on. It's a four minute delay. And this is normal. This is how this particular model is set up. I don't like that four minute timer. I wish they would give you like a toggle switch to uh, turn the feature on or off. Thirty seven point nine amps on the startup in rush current. It drops down to about 12 amps running. This video, as all of my videos, are for entertainment purposes only. If you decide to buy this particular item and have it installed, I absolutely recommend that you have a licensed professional tell you what size you need and have them install it. I am in no way responsible for anything that I have ever liked to use, recommended to use, installed, or reviewed. And remember, safety first. Wear all appropriate PPE when working or installing this equipment and always power down the equipment. Verify with a working meter that the power is out and work safely. I hope you enjoy this video.